You can download the art seen in the video for free, link in the description. Switch between multiple cameras in Godot, first go inside your game script, then you can simply grab the camera that you want to switch to, and call the make current function. Additionally, you can also check if a camera is current for a system where you switch between multiple cameras. To have a smooth transition between the camera switching, first add a camera 2D node to the scene, right click and rename it, rename it to transition camera, then inside the script we will add 5 variables, transition camera will be used to grab the transition camera, and selected camera will be used to keep track of what camera we have selected to be current. Then we have three tweens for the transition, one for global transform, which global transform covers scale, position, and rotation, then one for zoom, and one for offset. Feel free to add or remove any tweens that you do or don't need in your game. Next, we will create a custom function called change camera with a built-in variable that stores the desired camera, with a built-in variable that stores the desired camera that we want to switch to. Then, for all the tweens, we will first run the kill function to remove any previous tweening, then we will establish the respective tween with create tween, then we will establish a variable for the desired transform, zoom, and offset, each equal to the desired camera's respective property. Then we will tween the camera's respective property to the target property at a duration of 0.5 seconds. And we set the transition to transition sign so that the tween looks a little bit more polished. Finally, we set the selected camera to the desired camera. Now you can call this function with the appropriate camera you want to switch to inside the brackets. Keep in mind that we are simply emulating the desired camera that we want to switch to with the transition camera to make it appear like we are smoothly transitioning between the multiple cameras. Additionally, inside the built-in ready function, make sure to have the transition camera be the current camera 2D, and to switch to the first camera to make sure that the starting camera view is correct. Now you have a smooth camera switching system that takes into account scale, position, rotation, zoom, and offset, and don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.